Hello everyone, so in this lesson we're going to practice a few more Lewis diagram questions. So we're going to start with nitrogen and another nitrogen. So nitrogen is in group 5 and so there will be 5 surrounding electrons. That will be 1, 2, 3, 4 and then 5 over there. Then for this nitrogen obviously it's going to be the same. And now we have to try pair them together. So for example, this electron over here might bond with this one. It doesn't have to be like that. I'm just using that as an example. And then this electron could go there. And then this electron could go there. So everything is now bonded. We don't need any extra atoms or anything like that. And so we've gonna, we're going to have a triple bond like that. And then we also have the lone pairs which are already there. So we'll just put those back and also on this one on the right hand side. And so that is what nitrogen looks like. It has a triple bond. So this is one bond, that's another, and there's the third bond. We're going to do quite an interesting one now. We're going to take boron and fluorine. So boron is over here in group 3, so it would have three surrounding electrons. Fluorine is over here in group 7, so it has seven electrons on the outside like that. Now we need to pair the electrons together. So for example, this one might bond with this one. And now we have a bit of a problem because we don't have anything for this one. And so what we're going to need is another fluorine for that one and then another fluorine for that one. And so I've just quickly drawn those like that. So now you can see exactly what I mean. So for example, this one could bond there, this one could bond there, and then this one can bond there. And so eventually you end up with a structure that looks like this. Now something that's interesting about this one is that if you look at the fluorines, they each have eight electrons, which is good. But if you look at boron, it is only surrounded by six. But that is okay. The octet rule, where we said that things like to be surrounded by eight, there are exceptions to the rule, and this is one of them. The next one we're going to look at is when you take carbon and oxygen. So carbon is in group 4, so it's got 1, 2, 3, 4 electrons, whereas oxygen has 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we could imagine that this electron will bond over there, this electron would bond over there, and so these two electrons still need to be bonded. So we're going to need an extra oxygen. And so there I've drawn in an extra extra oxygen. So you could imagine that those two would maybe bond and then those two will bond, will, will bond. And so now we have everything that we need. So it looks like we need one carbon and two oxygens. And so we end up with something like this, where there is a double bond between each carbon and oxygen. So there's one bond and two bonds. So that's a double bond. And then there's another double bond over there. And so that's all for this lesson. In the last three lessons we've covered the basics of Lewis diagrams.